Hello, welcome to the March and Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the dark web in 2024 as safe as possible. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. So how to access the dark web? Uh, getting to the dark web is actually a lot easier than you might think. Navigating it is a different story. First, what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna download the Tor browser. Many who access the dark web do so by first connecting to it with the Tor, which is an acronym for the Onion Router Browser. Now developed by the US Navy and made public in 2004, Tor is the most popular dark web browser because of its unrivaled security and privacy. The Tor browser differs from others such as Chrome or Firefox because it does not take the most direct route from your device to the web. Instead, Tor uses a random set of encrypted servers known as nodes to keep users and sites anonymous. To download this browser, go to torproject.org. Once you download Tor, you can connect to the dark web. However, Tor won't find any sites on the dark web for you. You'll actually have to find the dark web sites that you want to search on your own. Now, uh, use a dark web search engine. Now, sites on the dark web don't come with an easy to remember URLs and many disappear suddenly. A dark web search engine can help you surf sites on the Tor browser. A search engine is not the same as a browser. While a browser lets you connect to the internet, a search engine is what you use to search the internet once you get on it. Uh, while you use Tor to access the dark web, you'll need to use a search engine to find its sites once you get on it. Some of the more popular dark web search engines include DuckDuckGo, which is this is the Tor browser's default search engine. DuckDuckGo's main selling point is its privacy features. Because it does not track users, people can use it to browse the dark web anonymously. Next, we have Torch. This search engine also doesn't track users. Torch claims to be the oldest search engine on the dark web. Then we have Omnia.fi, which is this search engine lets you see links to the dark web sites using traditional browser like Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. Uh, to access those sites, you'll still need the Tor browser though. Now, the last one is Dark Search, and Dark Search claims to index Tor pages each day, surfing the dark web 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, so, you're gonna have to know how dark, you know, websites work. Uh, websites on the dark web set themselves apart with unique domain name, like the dot .onion. Websites are accessible through the Tor browser and in this domain name just as sites reach through traditional browsers such as Chrome and Firefox and with domains, domain names like .com, .org, .gov, and .edu. The names of dark web pages are unusual too and can make it difficult to find them. Instead of site names that are easy to memorize like you know CNN.com or Google.com, Tor sites are made up of random series of numbers and letters. For instance, the website of the Torch dark web browser is <laughs> and I'm um, bear with me CNK J6 N I P P U B G Y C U J dot onion while the tour website for DuckDuckGo is 3G 2 U P seems like an L R I 4 P Q 6 Q I mean K U uh, F C 4 M dot onion so I mean <laughs> <laughs> These websites are clearly not easy to um, memorize, right? Unless you're, unless you're like, you know, <laughs> the memory king, right? <laughs> so uh, another challenge of finding dark websites, they don't often last. Many sites go defunct fairly quickly, either because they are shut down for illegal activity, uh, their founders or their founders close shop after getting bored or they move to a new address and name to help avoid detection so not only are they hard to memorize they go in and out you know often so that is how you do it uh, you know please hit the notification bell please hit the subscribe button i appreciate your viewership and do you have a better way of accessing the dark web please let me know in the comment section i appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video